Hello everybody, Grace Steel Plays, and we're back with more of the Long Dark in the Interloper mode. No time for BS. So, we mentioned... Not we mentioned. I went through most of this house, but let's go through it again real quick. Right before we get outside, I think there's a horrible, horrible... Storm kind of blowing outside. Oh, yep, there sure is. We're also fairly parched. Let's go ahead and grab a real quick something to drink. This soda, this can of dog food, all this stuff is kind of beat up. Actually, it's all very beat up. We're gonna have to start eating some of this. Just want to take, make sure to look right behind that little dang toaster right there. Remember, it happened the last time we left a toaster alone. Our little guts and stuff laying on the ground, doing fairly well for themselves. There's another house across the way that we need to take a look at. All these drawers here went into, just double checking all that. All right, looking good. I didn't hear about missing anything in the last episode, so maybe I did pretty good <laughs> finding everything. I remember we had a little soda that was hiding over there, and the cabinet's been gone through. Okay, so this looks to be pretty damn good. Let's put some things down, get out of here, go across the street, check some stuff out. Things that I can put on the ground, that can get dropped. It's taking up a lot of weight. That can get dropped. It's taking up a lot of weight. Don't need that as well. And I could probably drop... Let me see here. What else could I drop that's weighing us down a bit? Oh, we have, like, this log here. I don't quite need that. And we have a crap ton of reclaimed wood. I just... I don't need all this reclaimed wood. In fact, I'm going to drop more as well. There we go. I'll keep some on us, just in case. All right, now we're below the limit, so we can move a little bit quicker, which is all I wanted. We're going to come back to this house just until, well, obviously to sleep here in the night, but also until the storm's over. Holy crap. All right, let's do this. Let's get across the way and take a look at what's going on over by this house. I can't remember if we checked out this car, but I'll look real quick. Nope, sure did. Let's, let's bust inside of this purple beast and see if we can get something good. What's the temperature like? Only negative 25? That's nothing in the long dark. Nothing at all. The other thing that's nothing is the amount of stuff that's inside of this car. Now, the last time, we had a soda that ended up on the ground. I don't know if it came from the visor or not. I would have to say it didn't. Under here, don't see anything good. Into the house. We'll check around here real fast, too. How is our freezing doing? Yep, we're freezing pretty quick. All right, doesn't look like anything. Oh, God. Into the mailbox we go. Zero. Zilch. Not a nothing. And we made it. Inside of this little secondary area, we are treated with a whole helping of nothing. <laughs> Man. Bunch of crates still. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Man. Out of everything you could have found, I guess I'll never hurt. And feel sad about finding delicious, delicious matches. Man, I wonder how many matches we have right now. Oh, a piece of reclaimed wood just kind of hanging out. Well, it's reclaimed wood that we didn't have to use our efforts for, so uh, I'll take it. Inside of this plastic container, a whole lot of absolutely jack crap. And underneath, also nothing. Okay. So the last time we were in a place like this, we missed a little item that was like leaning up against one of these little blue boards. I just wanted to... Make sure there's nothing there, and there absolutely isn't. Outside, eh, still sounds like crap. Maybe I'll break down a few of these crates with my bare hands to pass some time. One hour just to break this down. Still the storm rages. These planks, we need an item to break down. How about these planks? All right, another hour for this. This is just getting us a little bit more tired, too, which is fine. If we, if we kind of, like get more and more tired. I don't mind that. Plus, again, it'll get us a lot of reclaimed wood. Getting all this reclaimed wood, just fine by me. And the reason why is because, later on, I'd like to go outside and see if that that deer that was here last time, or not here, but the deer that was nearby last time is still there. Alright, we're pretty warm. We've got a bunch of items. Let's go back over to our original house. It looks like it's getting dark pretty soon. Yeah, it's definitely looking pretty damn crappy outside. Just go ahead and probably sprint back over to this area. There we go. We're moving real fast. I do want to explore around here as well. Just because someone had mentioned, and they are completely right, there is a bunch of cattails and other good things in this area. Drop a bunch more of this reclaimed wood. Drop another... 
at least seven pieces. That puts us down to 29.4. Okay. So at this point, fairly drained, but not super drained. If we wanted to, we could probably... We would need a tool to bust up some of those chairs. And I don't really know if there's anything in here that we can bust up. All these metal lamps and stuff always need an item. Uh, we can take down some curtains. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of this. Again, the reason I love doing this is because it gets us a little bit more drained. So I can always be sure to get my full 10 hours of sleep in. And I don't know. I just, I hate doing nothing. That's the biggest thing. Like, I hate time passing and not having done something. All right. At this point, I would say we're pretty much done. It sounds like the storm is kind of going away. Let's grab something to eat real fast. Uh, nice 600 calories there would be fine, but I think we should probably eat this delicious dog food. Hopefully, we won't get food poisoning from it. Again, I'll mention, and I don't know if I'm 100% right on this, but food poisoning a little bit higher in dog food than anything else, potentially. From here, a nice, uh, yeah, we'll drink this soda. And then someone said that you can press escape halfway through the calories. Let's give that a shot. Let's eat part of this granola bar. Right here. All right. So yeah, we've got 205 calories on our granola bar left. Our stale granola bar. Very nice. Very interesting. I like that. Grab a sip of our 1.58 liters of water. We're probably going to need more water eventually. And let's hit the hay. 10 hours right here, 750 calories. We've got 832, so that's plenty. Good night. And there we go. Eight hours of darkness left, 7654. So we're going to even wake up during the daytime, I think? Or maybe right about when it's daytime? Man, is it still is it still crappy outside? There's not still a storm outside, is there? Come on, man. If there is, I don't know what we're going to do. I may have to just pause and wait until we don't have a damn storm so I can do something for you guys. If there's a storm, I'm gonna have to head inside and we'll wait for a little bit. We need anything yep. Right now. Still terrible outside. All right, guys, I'll be back when the storm passes by. All right, man. Storm has passed and we are good to go. Let's do a little bit of exploring. See if we can grab some cattails. And I think, and I didn't do it last time, but I think if we go all the way to the end of this little area over here, there is a dead person, I think. And there might even be some other goodies over there. Let me try and jimmy my way down here without injuring myself. There we go. And as always, if we can grab a couple of cattails on the waterfront here, I'm more than happy to do that. Negative 21 degrees outside. So, assuming that we won't come from a blizzard into a blizzard, I think if I can find that deer carcass, I might also sit down next to that and go ahead and see if we can collect something from it. Now, it doesn't look like there's too much over here, but I've never really gone all the way over here by this, this waterfall. Let's take a look. Man, it's certainly not getting any warmer, though. That's for damn sure. All right. Looks like a whole lot of nothing over here. Now, I think that the potential for the body was on this side here, straight ahead of us. So, what I'll do is we'll run a little bit here. Just kind of go across the way. And then we'll, uh, we'll climb on up this water bank. Now, the fact that we had no cattails on this side, I'm hoping to find some on the other side. We'll go that way next. Come on, you cattails. You know what Gray loves. Gray loves eating delicious cattails. Well, I guess realistically, I just love eating, period. So, as long as I get something that makes me not starve, it makes me happy. A couple of sticks out here. I think they have like 28 sticks on us, though. So, I'm not, I'm not too worried about not getting any of them. We should be reaching the zone, fair, the edge of the zone, fairly well and soon here. Let's see down this, this particular pathway. Like I said, just another opportunity to just discover more of the area. No, well, nothing over here. Isn't that a damn thing? Just some flurries. Negative 18 degrees. Not bad. We... What is that? I think that's just a mailbox. We are yeah, getting to the point that we're going to start freezing. But it's in a loper mode. So that's pretty much normal. And... Yeah. I guess that's it, man. We are at the edge of where we're allowed to be. Down to the other side. I was hoping I would find something useful over here. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing it. If I am, feel free to let me know. But I don't seem to see anything. You'd figure there would be some crows outside as well if there was something useful here. I think that this weather is good enough for crows. In fact, 
I wonder, and eh, it's pretty cloudy. I was gonna say, I wonder if this weather is good enough for us to use our magnifying glass. That'd be kind of nice. 95%, so it's not too bad. Don't mind running around here a little bit. Ooh, and the music starts playing. Let's go ahead and run. Run for the cattail stalks. Run for your life. And there's a couple of mosses sitting over there as well. There we go. There we are. We got uh, w one cattail stalk. Oh, this was worth it. That's okay, though. There's a couple of other positions around here that may have a few. I see a burned down object over there. And right over here, I believe, was where our deer was laying around at. Also some reishi mushrooms. So I'll grab those. Those are worth it. And if we can find a spot to plant ourselves for a little bit and make a nice little fire, that would be good too. Also, I'm going to get to see, I'm going to start learning all of these different weather conditions and how good they are. I see more cattails over there and how good they are for making fires. Yes, reishi mushrooms, come to me, damn it. Once we go into Coastal Highway, depending on whether or not we find what I want to find, which is the hacksaw, and if we get really lucky, a sleeping bag. If we don't get that, I may just go straight to Mystery Lake. Just because I think that would be kind of fun. Wander just over here a little bit. I just want to kind of like look around that rock. All right, nothing of interest. Man, a lot more. Oh, did I miss a couple of reishi mushrooms? I guess I did. A lot more old man's beard lichen too. A lot of old man's beard lichen. Pretty damn cold though. Let's take a look at this. 22% hypothermia. We are going to have to stay inside for a little bit. And it does not look like this deer is back over here. So, damn it. Well, uh, I guess you can't win them all. What we can win though is a bunch of old man's beard lichen. Come to me lichen. Come to, come to gray. You will become a bandage that will hopefully save my life one day when I get chewed on by a damn wolf. Because it's only a matter of time before a wolf finds me particularly appealing. Another stick for us. We have a whole bunch of cloth and wood awaiting us back at our little cabin over here. To the point where picking up additional stuff is basically useless. <laughs> Let me just look around here real quick. All right. I think that we are pretty much set. Oh, I, I asked you guys what you thought about me cutting away, just doing like kind of like simple stuff. And it seemed like the overwhelming desire was for me to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside of here real quick. I'm going to manage my inventory just to get leave some of the wood behind and get some of the wood and make sure to get our gut and hide. And then we're going to head on out of here and head into the mine. See you guys in a second. All right, and we're off. I went ahead and picked up our gut and our hide. I made us a couple of old man's beard lichen bandages. And now it's just a matter of going off to find that mine, which I did manage to find last time. And hopefully I don't get lost again. I also wanted to get a little bit of our heat back. Now we're really, really low on our liquids right now. We've got a couple of sodas and we have a little bit of water, but honestly, it is not very much. We're also a little bit winded. But we made it pretty damn good last time when we made our trek over to the coastal highway, so I don't think it's going to be an issue through the mine. This mine, I think, is slightly shorter than the one that goes over to Desolation Point. I don't know. I think it is. That's just my guesstimate. Going down over here, we can see... Looks like the edge of the zone. So now I just have to remember exactly which way I went to get to the mine. So let's take a look here. Plus again, it is, it is a beautiful day right now. And by beautiful, I just mean, you know, it's, it doesn't look like crap. Negative 17 degrees, of course, but that's pretty much how it always is in the long dark. That looks like a cave right over there. So that is not where we want to go. I do believe we want to go this way. In fact, I think that that may be a bear cave. Oh, a little deer over here. Well, hi there, deer. Good to see you. Don't mind if I pass on through. I don't have any weaponry to actually kill you with, so there's nothing to fear. Hopefully there's no wolves around. But I guess you'll let me know if there is one, won't you? 
We have... Yeah, still plenty of energy to sprint if I have to. We are overburdened. I took a lot of wood. I think I have like 30 pieces of reclaimed wood on us. But we chopped down a lot of wood. I think we had a total of like 67 pieces of reclaimed wood. And something like 70 pieces of cloth. Because I ripped essentially every single curtain I could possibly get my hands on down. Yeah, this is it right here. Go up this little hillway. Already at risk for hypothermia? Yep, I guess so. Alright. Well, let me go ahead and sprint a little bit up this hill. Just to kind of get us moving. Sprinting uphill is sort of a self-defeating thing. But it helps a little bit. It kind of makes us move... I don't know, what do you think? Like twice as fast? Maybe only 50% as fast? It being as cold as it is though. Oh, negative 10 because of the wind chill. That's nice. Once we get inside, we'll probably make... Well, we're going to, 100%, make a fire... And we're going to make that fire for the brand so that we can conserve as much of our torch as humanly possible. And then eventually we're going to whip out the torch and use that the rest of the way. But that's also because while we're inside of here, I want to try and find as many things as I can. I want to get more of this old man's beard lichen too because I always like getting it. Like I said, we already made two bandages. I think I have enough of this stuff for a third bandage. I just need to rip more cloth apart and maybe make another bandage or two. And we have the cloth. Lord knows we have the cloth. Beautiful view up here. If you've never been up here, it is gorgeous. And when you come out this way, you can damn near see across like most of the zone from here. Very neat. While we're at it, I'll just pick up a couple of sticks. They're sitting here looking at us sideways, so I might as well grab them. And we are set into the mine we go. Should be much more. Well, hold on. Before we go into the mine, let me see something. I just want to see if I can start it. Okay, I was just curious if we could start it with our magnifying glass, but that is a great big no. So we are inside. It should be much warmer inside, and it is. We could grab a little bit of coal here, but I don't think that we're going to need to because it seems like we can always find plenty of coal in the next mine that goes to Desolation Point. So let's go inside, get our... Get our fire as far in as we can get it. Looks right about here. Obviously, we can't use the magnifying glass in here. I'm going to keep this book for a time where, well, I guess I'll go ahead and abuse it. We'll do the torch thing real fast. So, man, I really want to find a lantern at some point. So, we'll light our torch so that we can, well, nah, screw it. We'll use the torch. I was going to say, so that we can light a fire... So that I can use the brand. But I think we'll just kind of do this for right now. We'll wander around. If I, if it's a bad decision, I'll accept the consequences for it. Let's see what we got going on around here, though. Ah, nice little metal container and a stim up here as well. A little bit of antiseptic. Although we never really need much antiseptic from what I've found. Go around the other way here. We could probably sprint a little bit if we wanted to. In fact, I am going to go ahead and do that. Eh, halfway winded, not too shabby. This torch will burn down a little bit quickly, though, so we're going to want to get as much out of it as we can, and plus we're going to want some of it, at the very least, to utilize when we go through the secondary mine. Around here, we'll just search around back, just to real quick see if I can see anything back here. I don't see anything of note. Let's continue onward. Go down the left side here. See how this is. Now, I don't have these mines memorized either, which I should probably do one day. So this goes upward into an area. Okay, good. This is an area where there's sometimes some really good stuff. Well, only a only a drawer and a piece of cloth. Last time we found a hacksaw. Like this has been here a while. Can we get it again? Yep, that's what I wanted, boys. Right there. Yonder hacksaw. We have exactly what we want. So, maybe I will go to Mystery Lake after we loot a couple of the big areas here in Coastal Highway. Like, at least, like, the gas station and stuff. I do want to loot all that. I'm going to leave that piece of cloth there. We have so much cloth, I just don't need it. There is a piece of scrap metal as well as a beef jerky. We don't need this scrap metal. We're going to be able to use our hacksaw for that. So, I'm not worried about it in the slightest. Seven hours of daylight left. Things are looking good. Push on, push on. And I will run a little bit here. 
And we should be reaching the end of this area fairly damn soon. You can see a lot more coal just kind of laying on the ground. We got the most important piece that I wanted. So I'm happy. I am happy. And we're tired already. Well, not tired, but we can't sprint any longer. Down here real fast. I'll just see if... Yep, there's a guy. All right, frozen corpse. Get, come on. Let me see the frozen corpse. There we are. Give me something good. I found a piece of beef jerky and a summit soda. Nothing on the corpse. Oh, I forgot. I, for I totally forgot. That locker that we just found that summit soda in, was that a pry locker? I'm trying to remember if my pry bar actually did anything for us or not. Moving on, I see another piece of scrap metal, which we do not need, and we are very, very close to the exit here. So hopefully we have, like, half of our torch left, maybe? That'd be nice. I don't know, though, man. Uh, okay, that's a good book, and I see a whole big chunk of jerry can fuel, but we don't have a lantern to use it with. That's kind of annoying. So let's keep pushing. Uh, anything behind there? Nope, nothing behind there. And nothing under here either. All right. Well, let's, um, hold on. Let's wander over here real fast. Just take a real quick look-see. What may be around this direction inside of the creepy mind of creepiness. Uh, a whole lot of nothing and a cave-in. Okay. Well, there could always be that. And I'm not going the same way I came, am I? I don't think I am. By now, our brand would have easily burned out. No, okay, this is just the same way that that comes. Okay, so we're almost out. I can see light up ahead right there. Let's push on up just so I can use my torch to look at the area right around the, the front here because there's always a couple of things up here. We are fairly drained, though. Ooh. Very, very drained. Uh, another sewing kit. I'll take it. Underneath here, not much. Not much over there. Loot this container real fast. I can barely walk with this much gear. And... I probably want to use this torch to make a fire to... Man, is that more... Is that accelerant or lantern fuel? That is lantern fuel. I'm probably going to want to try and use this torch to make a fire so that we can boil us up some water. Because I definitely wanted to do that. In fact, let's do that right now. Start this with the torch. 80% with the book. Let's go ahead and use this stick. I'll keep the books right now from where I really, really need to get a fire going. Someone had mentioned I never ended up using my accelerant in any of the last episodes. And you're right, man. I I should use the accelerant, especially, like, when I'm outside or something like that. I just have a tendency to... Like, I'm, I'm one of those guys that's always thinking, like, oh, I want to save it. Oh, I want to save it. And then I just never use it. All right, book. You're getting used. Because this torch is, like, seriously going down. Although we do have fuel now. So if we had to, we could make another torch with no issue. In fact, I will probably end up making another on, torch. All right, little fire. You have an 80% chance, man. You, it's got to work. While we're here, I don't know. Maybe we'll see if we can cook up. I don't know if we have any rose hips that we can boil up. If we do, we definitely want to do it to continue moving our cooking. Because the more that we can move our cooking, the quicker we can get it to the next level, the better. Because then everything that we cook is going to have 10% more calories. You guys remember when we were doing that for the rabbit. It was very, very nice. Let's go ahead and turn out this torch. There's probably not that much of it left. Campfire only has 10 minutes right now. Oh, someone had said... Let me see here. Two to go... Oh, that just cycles. Eh, I don't know. I'm trying... Oh, um, H for holster. There it is. I knew it was something like that. For firewood, let's get rid of some of this reclaimed wood. We don't need all this reclaimed wood. Coffee. Oh, reishi mushroom. So, yeah, we can make a little bit of... Oh, we need water first. Okay. I will put... We have a lot of sticks, too. I'll put a bunch of sticks on. We'll put a little bit more reclaimed wood on. That should give us enough for a nice big chunk of water. Three liters of water, baby. I want all the water. Six hours of daylight left. Down to five now. Ooh. We do have water purification tablets that I could use, but we have this fire as well, so I might as well use the fire. Water purification tablets is probably something I would use, like, if our fire goes out and we're out in the middle of nowhere. All right, so we got that down, Pat. Now we can finally cook up these mushrooms. And then right after that, we can cook up... I, I did see some rose hips, 
So that's pretty sweet. We can cook that up. Oh, no. Does that really say a bunch of question marks for the daylight left? Oh, that sucks so bad. Especially right now when we're super drained. Uh, Alright, well, we got one more reishi mushroom right here that we can boil up as well. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to grab something to drink. Great. Yep, I can hear it. Sounds like freaking epic crap outside. Okay, let's... Uh, wow, we are super heavy encumbered, and we're super tired right now, too. Oh, I'm going to hate it when I look outside, aren't I? We could break down a couple of these boxes, I guess, to try and like pass some of the time, but there's no telling how long this blizzard's going to hang around. Oh, this is so bad. Yep, it sucks outside. Negative 8 degrees Celsius right here, huh? Negative 22 without the wind chill. That's awesome. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break down a box or two. I'll be right back with you guys, and we'll see if the weather gets any better. If it doesn't get better, man, we're just going to push on through to civilization. All right, guys, the weather still sucks. Let's freaking push on through. We're drained. If I remember correctly, if we follow this path down and we head to the right, we should run into a trailer. I hope. I know that there is a, I think, a forestry place to the left. But I can't remember how well it protects you from the cold. Because I know it's it's one of those weird areas that's not... It's like indoor, but it doesn't transfer to a new zone. But I'm 90% I'm sure that there is a guaranteed trailer if we go down this way. Ne only negative 16 degrees outside, though, despite this terrible looking weather. So that's pretty sweet. And I think... The trailer is this way. Right over here. I'm hoping. Oh, I'm hoping. Because if I'm wrong, I'm screwed. We don't need any sticks. I'm going to let them be. Negative 21 degrees. So getting a little bit worse. Oh, guys. Wish with me, man. Pray for me that I'm going the right direction. Yes! Oh, thank you, Jesus. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Well... Now that we got this lucky, I guess I can look around in case there's anything interesting outside. Because we've got a couple of seconds before we are, like, frozen. Little stick. Go ahead and grab that. Nothing else of interest. Mother stick. And another stick. Sure, I'll take it. And we are almost frozen. In fact, I'm going to run. Oh, I can't run. We are so tired, I can't run. Oh, thank you, sad little trailer. Yes. Six degrees Celsius, baby. We are inside in this trailer. I can already see a bunch of containers in here. So let's do a real quick look and see if we can find anything useful. Also a chair for us to break down if we need to pass some time. Inside of this crate, absolutely nothing. Good to know. How about under the bed? Maybe a, pan of, a can of pinnacle peaches? No. I almost said like a, a pan of quiches or something. Old bedroll. I know someone had said old bedroll. Why didn't you grab it? Now, the old bedroll, the only thing you can do is break it down, and that's only if you have a knife. Man, I would love to be able to grab it and sleep with it. Trust me. That would be fantastic. Man, another plastic container. Come on, give me something. Anything. Nothing. Nothing at all. Underneath these beds, I see a granola bar. At the very least, we have a granola bar. Which I will take if I can reach around. There we go. And a pillow over there. Nothing else, though. And under here, another pillow and a whole lot of nothing. Okay. That looks like it's going to be it. Guys, we're going to wrap up this episode here. We made it into Coastal Highway. And we are at some random trailer. We're going to head down by the waterline and make sure to loot all of those awesome areas that usually has a ton of loot. Like the log sort, the fishing camp, and then, of course, the two islands. And eventually the gas station as well. Hope you guys are enjoying the long dark on the interloper mode. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.